Hi everyone, this is Absai Watchman at one and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to share another end time urgent dream warning from the Lord about worldly religion and false churches. And I have that dream also on September 6, 2024, and that's yesterday. So in my dream, I went to the grocery store in my neighborhood. After I left the grocery store, I, I walked back home in my neighborhood. While I was walking, I saw a couple of men who are Buddhism, who are Buddhists, and they were flying and levitating in front of the old apartment. It was very dark outside with a sunset outside. And these Buddhists who were flying or levitating in front of the old apartment have received demonic powers from Satan and all demon spirits to fly and to deceive a lot of people with their own miracles and signs and wonders. And while I was walking, I saw two wild deers hanging around and hanging outside of the old apartment with red evil eyes. And they were hiding on the walls like Spider-Man. And they were looking at the Buddhists like they are getting ready to attack them. So I bypassed them and I made it back home to my apartment. So back in my apartment, I was eating some food and I was waiting for my mom to get back home from her house from down south in America. The dream shifted and I was at the church. The pastor concluded his sermon series and he started praying and prophesying to all people. And he even told all the people to repent and to surrender their lives to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I saw one man who looked like Homer Simpson from the Simpsons. He got out of his seat and he went out of the church immediately. He said to himself that he got the prophetic word from the Lord, from his pastor, but he refused to repent and to surrender his life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So I followed him outside the church and that's when the dream shifted. This time, I saw the same guy, like Homer Simpson from The Simpsons. He walked away, he still walked away from the church while I was hanging around hanging around outside of the church. Then I saw him walking over the bridge where the lake or the pool is. And then I saw that same guy taking off his shirt. And then that's when suddenly I saw a huge ferocious lion chasing after him and that the lion was about to attack him. And that same guy was so scared that he ran away very quickly, like he was so scared and he was running for his life. And then I saw that same lion um, looking at me and I started getting up. And I started, um, and I started running away, away from that ferocious evil lion and I went inside of that Catholic church. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I ran inside the Catholic churches and then I went I went straight to that door and I saw two people that were standing right in front of that door getting ready to come in. So I immediately opened the door and then I saw um I saw uh, some choir people. They were um singing they were singing Christian music while everyone else just sat there and not praising and not worshiping the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I went uh, through the service and I sat down with the rest of the people. And then, and of course, I did close the door as well. So after I closed the door, I sat down with the rest of the people and I started listening to the choir singing, um, singing Christian musics. But then I heard a banging at the door and it was that same lion that was about to um to to come in and start attacking the churches and so i was scared and so was everyone else um on the same church pews or same church seats they were all scared too even the choir singers are scared as well and everyone else in catholic churches are so scared as well and that that lion has interrupted their songs and they stopped and they stopped singing that songs and that's when they saw that lion 
who's who's roaring like a lion, like roar. So after that, that same lion started banging and banging and banging at the door, wanted to come in and wanted to um, wanted to attack that Catholic church and wanted to attack everyone in it. And however, I saw these two men who just got up and they said, and they said themselves that they're going to make a risk for their lives to save these people's lives and the Catholic churches. So they got up and they went outside and they started tagging that church. I mean, they started tagging that lion and they wanted that lion to chase them. So the lion was so angry at these two men and that lion started chasing these two men immediately. And these, and these two men started leading those lions out of the Catholic churches and out, um, and out of, that, um, of the campus. And so these two men were being chased by two ferocious evil lions. And as for me and, the, and everyone else, we, uh, we felt peace and calmness and we felt safe away from that evil lion. And then after that, I decided to go out and I decided to see where that lion is heading into or is heading to. And then the dream shifted. And then I was at another church and this time I was at another false church and I was still hanging outside of that false church. So I went inside of that false church where I heard that false pastor preaching falsely against the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they have preached, um, they have preached their own um, prosperity gospels, sugar coated gospels. And even lean people away from Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and wanted people to, um, to support ungodly sins where these false pastors twisted scripture verses and trying to make everyone to love ungodly sins, to support ungodly sins, to love sexual immorality, including lusts and temptations and all these ungodly sexual um, demonic activities and even um, loving male and female idols and statues of idols, which is idolatry. So this false pastor st started making everyone to love ungodly sins. And that false pastor also made everyone to love and to worship and to support ungodly sins, including unto Satan and all demon spirits from the lake of fire and hell. And when I, and when I was inside that false churches, I did not feel the presence of God around that false pastor, including that false church. And I knew that they have blasphemy against God. They have mocked and scoffed against God. However, I went straight to the window and I went straight to that glass window, glass door window as well. And I still saw that same ferocious evil lion. And he was looking at me, but he was not angry at me. He was angry at that, that false church, including that false pastor. And he started roaring like, roar really really bad and he wasn't roaring at me he just like just like that he just like ignoring me and he's just looking straight at that false church with false pastors and he and he's looking at them like he's targeting at them and he wanted to eat them so bad so after that that same line started banging and banging and banging at the door while that false pastor was preaching his own gospel that's not of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And he did not pay attention, nor everyone else did not pay attention to that lion. But for me, I I stood right in front of that lion and I knew that the lion wanted to come in and wanted to attack that false church. But after that, that lion went away. And I decided to go back out and to see where that lion is heading, heading to next. So after I went out of that false church and away from that false pastor, I immediately went straight outside and then I saw the lion going somewhere else and he went far, far away. He was heading to the left of the church. So, and that's when I look at the lion from the left as well. But when I look to the right, I saw wild, 
wild beasts, with wild animals, even ferocious evil lions and also ravenous wolves that are approaching not against me, not to me, but but they are they're walking towards that false churches and they're targeting that false church and they're getting ready to attack that uh, false church. And all these wild animals are very hungry and they wanted to attack that false church immediately and wanted to eat them up as well. And that's when my dream has ended and then I woke up. So I asked the Lord, what does this dream really mean and what does it symbolize? And this is what he um, revealed to me. The Lord revealed to me that the Buddhists and the Catholic churches represents worldly religion and also represents false churches and false worldly religion. While the lions, both wild deers, wild animals, and even the wild beasts as well, represent Satan and all demon spirits from the pits of hell in the afterlife. And then the Lord tells me that he wants me to warn you all. He wants me to warn you all to stay away from worldly religious churches and stay away from Catholic churches Stay away from all these other ungodly churches that have denied the gospel of Jesus Christ. They have denied the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They have denied water baptism. They have denied healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships, including Bible studies as well. And that's why the Lord woke me up this morning to warn you all to stay away from these churches. Stay away from these false churches including Catholic churches, Buddhism, Hinduism, and all these other worldly religious churches because they have denied the gospel of Jesus Christ. They have mocked and scoffed against God, against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. They have blessed me the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They have blessed me the Holy Spirit at all. And they even have denied deliverance and denied healing. And they, they, and they even deny the Ten Commandments. And they want all people to commit idolatry and to worship male and female idols, including statues of idols. Now, just like we, um, just like the, um, all these uh, false churches does, they deny the Ten Commandments. And they just want to do things their own way. The same thing to Catholic churches as well want to do things their own way and want to make people to worship idols, both statues of idols and male and female idols. And they did not, and they still, not just Catholic churches, but all these false churches and worldly religion, they still deny um, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And they kicked him out of that church. And they made everyone to love and to support sins, even loving and supporting Satan and all demon spirits. And they also started worshiping and celebrating Satan and all demon spirits as well. However, when they deny the Lord Jesus, that's when Satan comes in to attack all worldly religious churches, including false churches as well. Because they have denied Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including the Holy Spirit as well. And without the Holy Spirit, they, then that means they're making room for Satan and all demon spirits to attack all people, including their own priests, their own false priests, their own false pastors, and their own false prophets, and their own false teachers, etc. And that means that everyone who deny the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, even the false churches who deny Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, even the worldly religion that still denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including the baptism of the Holy Spirit, will end up being attacked by Satan and all demon spirits. And that's why we've seen so many people who have been demon-possessed by demons because they have accepted false teachings from the devil and from demon spirits and from false priests and from false pastors, false teachers, and false prophets. And because they have denied the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that's when Satan attacks all people and made them become slaves of Satan, agents of Satan, 
and even followers of Satan, where the devil uses all demon spirits to lie to them, to deceive them, and to bring deception towards their false churches and worldly religious churches. By, and that Satan uses that false doctrines of demons to tell people full of lies about Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And, he, and they even tell lies about the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, including, including the seven-year tribulation and all these other false teachings, including the resurrection of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and also um, salvation and repentance and acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, along with the Holy Spirit as well, and also healing, deliverance, church homes, Bible studies, and discipleships, and, and so on and so on. So Satan uses um, these men, these false teachers, false priests, false uh, pastors, false prophets, etc. to lie to all people uh, about Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and to not make everyone to put Jesus Christ first into their lives, not even, you know that Satan is trying to kill, steal, and destroy all people by lying to all people through these false pastors and false preachers, etc. Because the devil wants all people to go to hell in the afterlife. And that is why the Lord warns me and he wants me to warn you all to stay away from these false churches and these false preachers and these false priests who call themselves as fathers when they are not fathers. They may call themselves fathers, but there's only one father that we focus on the most, and that's our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, including God the Father, the creator of heaven and earth, and also the Holy Spirit as well. Yes, we do have mothers and fathers that we love the best as well, and that's good, but the Father that I was telling you all to stay away from is just the priests who call themselves fathers when God did not ordain them to be fathers. They call themselves fathers because they want people to worship them and they want people to focus on them thinking that they're gods and they're not. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ want me to tell you to focus on Him only. Focus on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the only way to heaven, the truth and the life that no one comes unto the Father, but by Him. And that very soon, Jesus Christ is coming back real soon, like a thief in the light, unexpectedly and immediately. According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18, and then 1 Thessalonians Chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Amen. And then the Bible says on Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20. And, and this is why the Lord is telling us to stay away from false churches and, and also worldly false religion. Worldly religion. Stay away from both of them. Stay away from those churches immediately. That's when Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20 says, Beware of false prophets. Who come to you in sheep's clothing, but in, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear Good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by the fruit you will know them. And that's Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20. And then Matthew chapter 24, verse 9 to 14 says, Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lonelinesses will abound, the love of me will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached and all, the, and all around the world as a witness 
to all the nations, and then the end will come. And that's Matthew chapter 24, verse 9 to 14. And that's why that the Lord led me out of that Catholic churches and led me out of false, uh, of false churches, even false religious churches as well. And that's why the Lord wants me um, to go outside and spend more time with him. To spend more time with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and our Savior. Because He is the Lion of Judah. He never attacks all people. He saves all people's lives. But the one in my dream that I was telling you about, wild, ferocious, evil lions, that's, that's Satan and all demon spirits who are attacking false churches and false worldly religion because Satan was looking at all these false churches and all these worldly false religion, he was looking at them and he was telling them to deny Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that's when Satan attacks all these churches and to take over these churches along with all his demon spirits as well. So that's why the Lord is telling us and wants me to tell you all to get out of that church immediately. Get out. Get out and get out immediately. Run for your life immediately and stay away from these false churches and false worldly religion stay away from them immediately come back to jesus christ come home and be with our lord and our savior jesus christ so that way god will keep you safe and he will keep you protected with him forever along with his angels around you from uh, from the kingdom of god in heaven with you forever amen and one last thing, the Bible also says on John chapter 15, verse 18 to 25, and it says, and this is what Jesus says, if the world hates you, you will know they hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I choose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember, the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. But this happened that the word might be fulfilled, which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. And that's John chapter 15, verse 18 to 25. And then when the Lord tells us not to commit male and female idols and statues of idols and all these things are idolatry when the lord tells us not to commit idolatry he meant it that means that these idols both male and female idols and statues of idols will not get you to heaven they will get you straight to hell and the afterlife and that's why satan will torment kill steal and destroy all people in the lake of fire which is the second death because these people love sin so much other than loving jesus christ as lord and savior and that's why the lord tells us not to be deceived by the devil nor listening to false teachings nor going to hell in the afterlife forever the lord do not want any of us to go to hell in the afterlife he wants to save us away from hell he wants to draw us to heaven to be with our lord and our savior jesus christ who is the only way to heaven the only only way to heaven and also the truth and the life that no one comes unto the father but by him so please give god the chance to save your life and give god the chance to tell you to stay away from all ungodly sins and read Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5, and Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19 to 20. And that way, God will tell you more about not to worship any male and female idols, including statues of idols, 
which is idolatry, and not to support ungodly sins, and not to not to worship and support ungodly sins, not to worship Satan and all these demonic spirits, and not even and not even going to hell in the afterlife. And also, please do not be left behind. And uh, after the rapture, because the Lord do not want anybody to be left behind after the rapture of the church or the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. The Lord wants to save us away from sins, away from darkness, away from evil, away from our disobedience, away from all these false churches and all these worldly religious churches that that lie to us about Jesus Christ, that denied repentance and salvation unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, along with baptism of the Holy Spirit with war baptism, with healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. So give God the chance to save your life so that he will spare your life and he will keep you safe with him along with his angels as well and away from the wrath of God between now and during the seven-year tribulation as well. Amen. So if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and even if you are lukewarm, or backslide away from God and into ungodly sins before the rapture comes, then say this simple repentance prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you died on the cross for all my sins and for me, and that you were raised from the dead the third day so that I shall be saved. So come into my life, Lord Jesus, be my Lord and my Savior. And I ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit into my life in the mighty name of Jesus. For your word says, Ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. I receive you now, Lord Jesus, and I receive you and I receive your Holy Spirit as my Lord and my Savior. And give me tongues to speak. So I can pray with the Holy Spirit. And I and that way I shall receive your Holy Spirit as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am yours and you are mine. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Forever and ever. Amen. Now the Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in, in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For it is with the heart that men believe. And it is with the mouth that confesses that ye are saved. So congratulations and welcome to the Heavenly Kingdom family. And yes, you are rapture ready for the return and for the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I encourage you all to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people unto salvation, along with repentance, along with baptism of the Holy Spirit, along with water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships, and including Bible studies as well. And also read the book of John to learn more about our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So that way you'll get an idea of who he is in your life. And also read the book of Acts to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. And then finally, read the book of Psalms and Proverbs to get more wisdom and more knowledge um, and get more understanding from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, including God the Father, who is teaching us how to get wisdom and how to live right with Him against living wrong against from Satan. And also read the book, book of Revelation, so that way, that way you will learn more about what's to come in the future, including God's wrath from, from the seven seals, seven bowls, and seven trumpets of God's wrath, and more things to come in the book of Revelation as well. So remember... Jesus Christ is coming back like a thief in the light, like a thief in the night, unexpectedly and immediately. So, amen and amen. So, God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. And I can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen and amen. God bless you all.